What's up, guys? This is Tamari here, and we're back with another Ace Attorney episode. We last left off with someone mysteriously shouting, Hold it, so we don't know who it was, so we're just gonna get right into this. Alright, who, who was that? It was me, Maya. It is something wrong. Do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not. Lot of heart. Your testimony stinks. It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death! Oh, damn. Lotta! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? Damn. You will stand down! The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst! Answer me, Lotta! What's the big idea treat me like I'm some kind of criminal? I saw him! I swear it! I saw Edgeworth! Enough! Judge! Declare the defense in contempt of court! Y yes yes of course I'm sorry, but you were warned. God, escort Mr. Roy out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No! Damn it, Maya! You screwed everything up! Oh, wait. Someone shouted, wait! I, I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor! Nick is innocent! Oh, okay. Ha! What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Wrong! What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth! That was not in the testimony! That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again! Yeah, take that, bastard. Order! 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 God damn it. You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Uh-oh, is he not gonna take shit from him? Ooh, is he fighting back? I'm sorry, Mr. Moncomer, but I cannot. What? Miss Lana Horn has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he is in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me! Hmm... Very well. Maya Fay, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck! M Maya... My voice is cracking. Oh my gosh, I should probably stop yelling. <coughs> Peh, I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. I better find a contradiction here or else. Mr. Roy, begin your cross-examination! <sighs> I'm out of breath from all that yelling. Okay. I saw a clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. Well, what about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it. If you can. Mr. Rowan, I have to sign you a penalty. What? Um, so pressing random details gets me a penalty now. Damn. That's it? Uh oh, I don't know if I can find anything in that. What will Maya say? So I have. Okay. Okay, so we're not pressing. So she saw a clear as day the mail on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Wait. Wow, that was it? Oh. Uh. That. Eh. She saw it clear as day the mail on the oak boat was Mr. Edgeworth. But in this photo, you can't tell. You can't see. Maybe it's a photo? You can't tell in the photo, so how the hell could she see it? Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? what? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? That's a bad face. <laughs> Mr. Roy has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said I could and I meant I could. 
Then please testify to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in this and and Mr. Mr. God, I can't talk. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully fake testimony. God damn, that was hard. That was hard to say. Whew. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Um, in a way that sounds really weird. Hmm, you use binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. That sounded... It sounds really weird still. Binoculars? Really? Like... Okay, let's just press and hopefully we won't get a penalty. I'm kind of scared. I didn't even know you could. That's really scary. Okay. You're right. It was a cold night and the mist was thick as grits. So, how could you see Edgeworth? Now, just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee times never find a girl where, gal where I'm from. Defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is. Nobody loves me. Wait, did you seriously insult me, Judge? Really, man? So once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Okay. Your camera? Yeah, it's got an automatic... Really, man? The issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. Urgh, he's not letting me her answer any of my questions. Because he's a bastard. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? Uh-oh. I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain! Hmm, Mr. Roynt, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Roynt, do you wish to press further about the camera? Yes, I believe we're on to something with this. This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe yeah, I went a little overboard there. Very well, Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. The camera was set up to take pictures of me or shower. All right, press it. Miss Hart, what made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on that lake. It's not very so suited to stargazing. Yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. Har. Har. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. Now, wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was you that saw Edgeworth. Arr. No unnecessary comments, please. Damn it. When I heard that noise out in the lake, I looked with my binoculars. Okay. If there was a heavy fog, how would binoculars change that at all? What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog. But you say you saw, you clearly saw him. Er, I did, yeah. Enough. There is no room for doubt in her testimony. She sounded pretty doubtful to me, but I have to find a clear contradiction first. I don't care how many Von Karmic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, really. Stop. Alright. Let's look over the evidence we have so far, like the camera. Set to automatically take a picture when it allows noises detected faces the lake. What? Faces the lake? Whoa. If she, wait a minute, if she's stargazing, why the hell is it facing the lake and not up to the sky? That's where stars are at in the sky. Okay, so maybe that's our contradiction. Okay, this camera set up to take pictures of mirror shower, so we present the camera. Let's go with it, YOLO. I I'm kidding. You were photographing and shooting stars? That's a lie. S says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Oof! Yeah, my 
quick thinking. I'm a genius. Mr. Roynt, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Wait, well then, what exactly was she photographing? I... I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we have any evidence. Okay, the autopsy, no. The lake. Well, she's obviously pointing at the lake if there was a photo of it. Um, that's all we have, okay. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 what about this Gordy thing? Maybe she's trying to photograph Gordy. Let's just go with it, like, roll with it. Come on, Rolo. Your Honor, take a look at this. What was Miss Hart trying to photograph at the lake? Why did you say that out loud? <laughs> I thought that's supposed to be, like, blue when it's in your head. Let's just pretend it's this. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article. Gordy? Oh, the sorting at Gold Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I, uh, holy crap, I don't know if I have proof for that. Proof that she was down at the lake trying to photograph Gordy. Um, I have it. Proof. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's say it. And no joking around this time, please. Here is proof that the witness was trying to- What? I think that was supposed to be my part, not your part, Judge. Here is proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy the lake monster. Because it's the article? I don't know. The proof is the article about get- I can't talk. The proof is this article about Gordy the lake monster. According to this article, when Gordy breaks through the water, it makes a loud noise. Which is why you set up your camera with that microphone. You had it set to respond to loud noises. And that's how you got this picture when the pistol fired. Damn. Found water, water. Oh, I see. Oh, I do thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart, you were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah, not bad. Are y'all lawyers that smart? So smart, boy, I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey! hey! But as she so secondly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. What could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. This haunt! Why did you haunt the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please advise your testimony! Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. Okay. I don't know how that would actually change, to be totally honest. <sighs> Let me take a little breather. Oh my god, I've been yelling at nothing. Ew, it just broke. Okay, I'm yelling and I gotta take a break. Okay, oh god. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's what I was, why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked straight, straight out the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart and hoped to cry. Wow. Hmm, there, I mean, well, Mr. Roy, you may cross-examine the witness. Objection. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing of this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Eh, uh, hmm. <coughs> Training. I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. My karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Is there a contradiction? Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! That would be a first. <laughs> Very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Um, 
I don't know what I'm looking for, to be honest. So, I'm. can we press without getting in trouble, or is that just going to be a whole big deal? Okay, whatever. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. Okay. And then what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm high faulting enough to be called a manner of anything. Okay, that was weird. I'm an investigative photographer. Okay. An investigative photographer. Oh, damn it. I can't. Put... Yep. You get your photo and sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Um, what? There was a UFO just hanging in the, in the sky. A UFO? What? A UFO? You know, an identified flying object. A UFO. You mean a UFO, Jesus. That's when I had some sort of revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I... I see. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. Yeah, really, what the hell? Um, imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. Okay. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah! They even had him up on the TV! I'm not sure that appearing on the local news rumor of the month show qualifies. That's not show his Bigfoot sight on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey! They also had a picture of him in the newspaper! For real! Mr. Roynt! Point, I do not believe you can win. Let's get moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, really. Holy, holy shit. Um, that's why I was camping out by the lake. And that's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep. Borrowed it from a friend at a university. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. But that's all I was hiding. Okay. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if you were got out that I, what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yeah! Second-rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, well, actually... Mr. Wright, I will not have you asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. Yeah, you bastard. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out the lake. That was a long testimony. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. She heard a bang, and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of doubt she wasted any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? Whatever you're giving me that look for. Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Yeah, what the hell, Pops? <laughs> then I saw a flash near one of the man's hands, and I, I heard another gunshot. Okay. Was well, there no nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot for some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was smooth as glass, and nobody was on the shore neither. Hey, damn it. God, my freaking mouth's hurting. Hmm. I better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Actually, I'm not all gonna do okay. We already said that. Um. Oh shit. Um. Um. Let's see. Well, uh, there wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole boat the whole time. Well, if you were looking for this Gordy thing, why were you watching the boat the boat the whole time? You were be checking out the lake, right? So I guess article is fit for this part because you'll be checking out the lake like immensely if you were looking for Gordy so fuck it let's go I mean oh gosh I should probably stop cursing okay um oh god um Miss Hart are you really looking at that boat what what's with you of course I was looking at it it was the only thing out there any normal person be looking at it I agree any normal person would but you are far from normal wow that's really messed up what? Y'all want to step over here and say that? 
you were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You would be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Ah! Damn. What up? Continue, Mr. Oint. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Damn. Damn, cool. Well? Hmm. Well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might have been out there and all. Miss Hart! Are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Okay, um, dot dot dot. So sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. But, but, hey, you got the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Oh, crap, shit, I didn't... No, fuck, I didn't mean to press that. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Right, right. And that's why I took this photo in. You took it in what? Damn it. Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shit, shut my what? What was she going to say? Was she, she took the photo in what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of Mike, but she'll let us see who's who. Oh yeah, that's right. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll be prison for Edgeworth. Or worse. What should I do? Make her show it. Alright, Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Y yeah I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? But because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in the court in the first place. You old fool. Damn. Awesome sauce. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, um... Miss Hart! Show the photo to the court! Show us the enlargement! Yes. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is! Here we go, shit's rolling now. Damn, you still can't tell who's who. Hmm, we still can all see who is boring in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Okay. Alright. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. <coughs> and little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. Well, I suppose this means that the cross examination is over, obviously. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lana Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to win to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo, somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Oh god, object to the enlargement. No, I can't do it because, um, um, oh, oh god, what do I do? Uh, show evidence, what can we show evidence of? I, I don't, I don't know. Let's go look at this pistol. Okay, the murder weapon, 22 caliber. That's big caliber, I'm fired three times. Three times, what the hell? Three times. But there was only two shots. I have no idea. Bear's prints from Edgeworth's right hand. Wait a minute. Right hand? But this guy is holding it with his left hand. Oh, man. Oh. So we're going to object to, object to the alarm. 
Okay. Your Honor, there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What, what might that be? You know it's down to get serious when the song starts playing. Mr. Wright, you will share the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. It's the guy's hand, because, yeah, reasons. <laughs> we already know. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. The pistol. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Ergo, isn't that Mr. Edgeworth's thing? <laughs> cool. I use his word. <laughs> now that everyone in the courtroom is quieted down, we'll continue this in the next episode. If you all like this, leave a like, favorite, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next episode.